what should we be focused on? Should I be starting, uh, you know, opening plays, you know, or should I just be working on my awareness and getting repetitions in? Should I be spending a lot of time analyzing my matches versus just playing more and more? What would you recommend? I think the most important thing for you is just going to be to um, one work on tactics, and I that's kind of what I what, what I would recommend you the most, just to work on tactics and just working on not blundering pieces because that's like the number one thing that. I think is gonna uh, make you win or lose your games. Just just blundering pieces. I think openings don't really matter at your level at all. I think it's just kind of getting like peace awareness um, and just just tactics basically. And then also obviously like looking at your own games and seeing, okay, this is where I went wrong. Maybe I should think about this instead. How much of your attention and focus is on what your opponent's doing? versus what you're going to do next. You need to find a balance, right? Because those kind, those two things, they uh, kind of go out of each other. Like, you need to be able to constantly understand what you think your opponent is going to do um, and base your plans off of that, if that makes sense. Which is a really difficult thing to do. It it's is, really yeah. hard. And that's why chess is such a difficult game. Um, and that just kind of comes with practice. But I think just coming up with plans yourself and then uh, trying to look at the whole position and trying to come up with plans for your opponent as well and kind of figuring out that this is a two-player game and not just like a one-player game. I think you come a very long way with that. Number one is controlling the center of the board. And number two is is developing your pieces, right? So can you speak a little bit to, to, to the importance of kind of both of those principles in chess? Yeah, I think that both are super important um, because you need to develop, right? Chess is a game where to win, you need to be able to use all your pieces. And that's why developing is so important. You need to get your pieces out early on. And a lot of people, a lot of beginners as well, they just want to checkmate very quickly. And that's why, for instance, the scholar's mate, which is when you try to checkmate in three moves um, or four moves, I can't remember. But that's why that is so popular. But that kind of goes against like chess principles. So I think that you, instead of focusing on just trying to do a quick checkmate uh, that looks really cool, you should just focus on like just, just, just playing solid chess, and I think that's uh, gonna work out really well. How about when you're in that high pressure situation and you just bomb, you fail, you you lose, you know, and maybe even an ugly loss, right? And you're just like embarrassed or whatever. How do you get over those losses, and how do you have the strength to continue to, you know, to, to get back to that next tournament and not lose your confidence? It's really hard. Chess can really hurt when you lose, especially because you spent maybe five, six hours on one chess game and it might be just one little mistake that you did yeah. in a certain situation that just destroys those five, six hours of progress that you did during that game. So it, it's really brutal, especially in classical chess and it's really hard. But I think what I really try to do is just realize that that was one game and in my life, I'm going to play so many more games. And so I'll just once again, do something that'll make me a little bit happy, learn from my mistakes and then try to move on. Um, but it's hard. It's really hard. Should you be reviewing all of your matches, like every play, you know, as a habit? I think it's good, but I think it's also really important to not get caught up on when uh, that chess.com bot is telling you that you did like mistakes. <laughs> because okay. at your level, what really is going to be uh, the cause of loss is going to be the huge blunders, like the huge spikes. So I think just looking at the big spikes in the graph um, and seeing what happened during those spikes, that's the only thing that matters. Because if you just look at every single mistake, you're just going to get sad and feel like you're a bad chess player, which you shouldn't. <laughs> you shouldn't. <laughs> okay. My, my final question for you is we're taught to think also like many moves ahead in, in chess. That is uh, obviously it can be challenging, right? To, to think many moves ahead. Any uh, tips on how to kind of get better at, at that? At, at like, I guess, board visibility and whatnot? Yeah, so that's like really difficult. Um, but I think just constantly playing chess and just calculating in your brain, like being like, okay, if I go here, my opponent can do this and then I will go here. And just trying to see that in your head without doing too many arrows and stuff, that's the best way of practicing it. But you're not gonna be able to come into chess and be able to see like 10 moves in a row. That's something that comes with practice. But if you practice, okay. you'll be able to do it.